Let's continue with a few more problems, order of operations with real numbers. We just did a problem just a minute ago where I asked you to take the opposite of something squared. 9 squared is 81. So I would like you to take the opposite of 81 and then subtract 11 in this problem. Again, be very careful. There are no parentheses around that negative 9. I have to add the opposite. I'm hoping you can get away from writing that red marks on your paper, adding the opposite, but it's not necessary to be successful in the class. And then I'm adding two numbers with like signs, so their absolute values add to be 92, and their common sign is a negative sign. Textbooks often um, show a little bit of redundancy when it comes to multiplication. That dot right there is not required. They could have written this as, and I'm going to move that just a little bit closer, they could have written that as four times whatever's in that set of parentheses. Something to caution you there whenever you see those dots, a little bit of redundancy, a little bit of repetitiveness. Order of operations here says to do what's in the parentheses first. Please just do that. So 6 plus 8 is 14. Put parentheses around it because in front of it is a four times whatever is in that parentheses. Bring that division symbol down. And this is in parentheses too. Order of operations says to do that. Four plus three is seven. Now I've got multiplication and division. I need to work from left to right. So four times 14 is 56. And 56 divided by seven is eight. Couple more. Order of operations says to do what's in the parentheses first. When there's multiple sets of parentheses, you do what's in the innermost set of parentheses first. So this group gets managed first, then the square brackets. So I'm just going to work in there. I'm not doing anything with this until the very end, so leave it alone. Let's bring the square bracket down. 6 minus 13 is a negative 7. So I have a negative 7 there, and I can drop the red parentheses. I've done that, and I'll have to subtract the 11, and I have just the square brackets left with the 8 out in front. I'd like to go ahead and do what's in the square brackets next because we keep doing what's in the parentheses. And a negative number plus a negative number, they have like signs, so I add their absolute value, that's 18. I give that answer, the negative sign. This square bracket can become a rounded bracket because it's 8 times whatever's in there. So 8 times that negative number is a negative result. And I believe that answer is going to be 144, a negative 144. Finally, let's do one more, I think. Yeah. Again, please remember that the big division bar says do what's in the numerator, do what's in the denominator, then do the division. So within that, I have to do what's in these parentheses here. So 8 minus 3 is 5. So in the denominator, I'll have 20 times 5 minus 4, and 10 minus 3 is 7, 4 times 7. 2 minus 6, right there, is a negative 4. So in the denominator, I'm going to have 10 times a negative 4. I'm going to bring that minus sign. Minus 2 times 5 plus 2 is 7. Let's now work left to right in the numerator. So I have 20 times 5 is 100. And 4 times 7 is 28. Down here, 10 times a negative 4. Positive times a negative is a negative 40. And I'm going to subtract... 2 times 7, which is 14, so subtract 14. Upstairs, 100 minus 28 is 72. And a negative 40 minus 14, or plus a negative 14, their signs are the same, so I add their absolute values. 
I give my answer that common sign, and I see that that needs to be reduced. I see that they're even, so what I do is I just say to myself, let's just divide top and bottom by two. So two goes into here 36 times, and two goes into here 27 times. I'm just gonna write that down, 36 over a negative 27, and now I'm noticing that those are both divisible by nine, I believe. Nine's the biggest number. Might as well go for nine rather than three. And nine goes into here four times, and nine goes into here three times. So my final answer is a negative four over three. Order of operations with sign numbers. Again, don't forget parentheses first, exponents. Multiply and divide working from left to right. Adding and subtracting work from left to right. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally.